Hey guys, what's up? Just chilling here on an asteroid. Did you know that June 30th is International Asteroid Day? You know, actually it comes to mind that there are a lot of days like this where Oh man, barely survived. Yeah, today we're talking about biologically active organic compounds with four rings arranged in a specific molecular... Uh, oh, that's a steroid. Uh, we're talking about asteroids. You know, the rocks in space that orbit our sun, but are too small to be considered planets. I still give them A for effort though. No, 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 not our sun. That would be weird. Wait, why do we have a sun? Who are you? Well, he certainly has my eyes at any rate. Just last week, there was a newly spotted asteroid near Venus, and it gets its name from the Palma tribe of Native Americans. It was seen flying over the Palomar Observatory, which is on ancestral Palma land. Its orbit is so close to Venus, they call it Venus Girl, which in their language is Ilochaxnim. Ilochaxnim. Ilochaxnim? Ilochaxnim. Ilochaxnim. I think. Ilochaxnim. Anyways, this is big news. Not just because asteroids are big. What a stupid thing to postulate. Stupid postulation. Bad postulation. Ah! What does postulate mean? I'm sure that makes sense. No, but this asteroid is actually the first asteroid discovered to orbit closer to the sun than Venus. And that's saying something, because Venus is hot. Venus is a hottie. Venus stood me up on a date. But it's because it's the hottest planet in the solar system. Couldn't go on a date with a planet anyway. Especially not one with yellowish clouds of sulfuric acid. You ain't fooling me. Except, now we got a problem. Looks like asteroids are space-bound rocks, you know, gravitating the sun, we talked about that. Meaning the rock I was on in the intro wasn't a, well, it wasn't an asteroid since it crashed. So I guess that would make it a meteor, which fortunately for everybody involved, also happens to be National Meteor Day, June 30th. <sighs> Two for one, baby? Now I could certainly do with a meteor diet, I've been eating nothing but nuts for protein. And that's not because I prefer nuts over meat, it's just because I'm poor. You see the economy these days, I, I ain't getting no meat. You know, it takes 540 peanuts to make a 12 ounce jar of peanut butter. That's a lot of peanuts. But you know what, I think my friend Tyler actually eats that much peanut butter in one day. What were we talking about again? Oh right, meteors! So what's going on in the world of meteors? Meteorite that landed on Earth more than 200 years ago upends previous theories of how Mars formed. Huh, is that all? I could do that much in my sleep. Where's my news story? The interior chemical makeup of Mars largely came from meteorite collisions. Yeah, I told you. No, but previously it was believed that Mars came from a giant cloud of gas called the Solar Nebula. But now people are postulating, 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 that is from a number of meteorite collisions. That's me visually showing the meteorites hitting them. So what's that mean? I don't know. I'll go check. What's going on up here? We are the Mars Parliament. Okay, so what do you got to say? We represent the electorate. We make laws. We oversee the government. Oh, wow! That's awesome! Guys, can you believe it? It's also the International Day of Parliament! Say that again slowly. Why do you guys sound like robots if you're Martians? But I'll oblige. International Day of... Oh, international. Not interstellar. Only internations. Mars isn't an... Oh, no. Kill him. Oh, oh no, I didn't even get to talk about <laughs> National Handshake Day or National Work From Home Day, which it also is on June 30th. This is a catastrophe. Ah, uh, no worries, guys. I'm still okay. That was just my space personality. Yeah, really interested in space, that one. I'm okay, too. Yeah, it was flying over the Palomar Observatory, which is in ancestral Palma land. 
Oh wow, that's awesome. Guys, can you believe it? Today is also the International Day Parliament! <laughs>